What is going on my dudes? Tasha here back again with another Gitchin Impact video and today we're going to be talking about Nilo and what you're going to need to prepare for the next two days of grinding when Nilo comes out. Now this is being released as of Wednesday which normally the updates don't release on Wednesdays but because of what's been going on with COVID and how we were you know dealing with all the stuff going on with releases we are shortening 3.1 and we have to grind even harder and faster. So let's go ahead and get right into it right now. So Nilo, as you can see right here, by the way, shout out to honeyhunterworld.com for the Genshin side of things. I really love using the site because it makes it easier and more condensed. So we're going to talk about the Verunata silvers, fragments, chunks and gemstones. Now, you got to remember that you're going to need one silver. You're going to need three or sorry, nine fragments, nine of the chunks and also six of the gemstones. And you got to remember also that three of the previous one makes the next one. So you're going to need three silvers to make a chunk chunk or sorry, fragment <laughs> three silvers to make a fragment, three fragments to make a chunk, three chunks to make a gemstone. So you're going to want to make sure to farm these. Now, what bosses can you farm to get these, you know, items? Two bosses that come to mind right off the bat, and you could even comment down below if there's another boss that you think would work out. The two that you're going to want to farm are obviously the Hydro Hypostasis, which is a pretty easy boss in my personal opinion, and then a boss that still haunts me to this day. I hate this boss so much, Oceanid. So... Those are going to be the two that you want to do, but you could also use the Azeroth sand stuff that you get from the Paimon shop if you have some and you could actually take fragments and all that stuff from other elements and transform them into the Hydra ones that you're going to need right here. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the Perpetual Caliber, which is going to be the boss map that you get from the Aeon Blight Drake. This Aeon Blight Drake just came out in version 3.1, so you've had a little bit of time to farm him, but if you do have some time to farm him again, I'd say farm him and get your 46 that you're gonna need to get Nilo up to 90. And trust me, with the HP percentage that you're gonna get from her Ascendancy to 90, it's pretty worth it, I would say. Uh, but I also like to farm all my characters to 90 or at least try to. So if you're not like me and you're not crazy in the head, you know, you don't have to. But I would still say farm up 46. Now, we're going to talk about the Sumeru specialty item, which is the Padisara, which is going to be 168 that you're going to need to ascend her all the way to level 90. This, again, like I said, I would farm up to 90, but you don't entirely need to. You can farm up to 80. But I would still say it's worth it to farm her up to 90. If you have friends that have already farmed their Potisaras, or if you're in my Discord, which is linked down below, you could actually ask for help from many Genshin players in the Discord. We are more than happy to help and let you take our Potisaras if we've already farmed them. So those are what you're going to need baseline. So let's go ahead and talk about the pollens here, which we have the fungal spores, the luminescent pollens, and of course, the crystalline cyst dust. The reason why I want to cover these into the also talent section is because you are going to need these in not only the ascendants, but also in the talents. So in your ascendants, you're going to need in total 18 of these fungal spores. You're going to need 30 of the luminescent pollens, and you're going to need 36 of the crystalline cyst dust. So 18, 30, 36. Now, the reason why I want to combine this with the talents is like we do in every single video. If you're going to actually triple crown this character, sorry, this thing popped up. But if you're going to triple crown this character, you're going to want more than just the 18, 30, 36. You're also going to want in total six more. So that brings you to a grand total of 24 of these fungal spores. You're going to need an extra 22, which if you put to your 30, you're going to need 52 luminescent pollens. And then 31 alongside your 36, you're going to need 69, <laughs> 69 of these, uh, what is it, crystalline cyst dust. So you're going to need a lot of those. And like we said before, three of the fungal spores make the luminescent pollens, and then three of the luminescent pollens make the crystalline cyst dust. So be ready for that because you're going to need a lot of those for each talent. Not only that, but you got to multiply all these, the, the six, the 22 and the 31 by three. Yeah, so you're not only going to need six for one, you're going to need, what is it? 18, 18 more along with, what was it? Uh, try to do some quick math, 18 and 18. So you're going to need 
36, right? 36, yeah. 36 of those you're going to need for the luminescent pollens. That's 66 right there for all three talents, plus the 30. So you're going to need 96 of those. And then, of course, the granddaddy of them all, the 31 crystalline cyst dust times that by three. That's 93 plus the 36. And oh boy, you're going to have a lot of farming to do. That's all. What, what was it? Uh, 129 of those. So you have a lot to do, but there's many ways that you could farm these. There's actually the adventurer's book where you could go along with, you know, either by yourself or with a friend. You could go and find the fungus and you could beat them. But make sure that you're not running burning or hydro. You want to run cryo because it's actually a little bit easier to get those, in my personal opinion, um, because those change depending on what you know, element that you use. So enough about that. Let's talk about the books now. So we have these books, which are the new tablets, or this one is the teachings of prax praxis. We got the guide of praxis. And then we also have the philosophies of praxis. So for one thing to get to uh, level 10, you're going to want three of the teachings. You're going to want 21 of the guides, and then also you're going to want 38 of the prophecies. Now, multiply that by three, and you have a grand total of nine of your teachings, 63 of your guides to practice, and then bear with me because old man Teister's got to do math here, so 38 times two would be what? 76, and then you add another 38 to that. That's like one... Uh, I'm so bad at math, guys. 114 in total. Uh, I gotta remember that off the top of my head, but yeah, you're gonna need 114, I believe, of those, which is a lot. And these books can only be farmed on Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. So if you are watching this today, get it done. Get as much as you can done and wait until Saturday, because at least with Saturday, you'll be able to hopefully triple crown your girl. But that also comes with our next thing. You're going to need in total 18 of these Tears of the Calamitous God, which comes from the Raiden Shogun big boss battle that you find in Inazuma. And these drop only once a week. Yeah, so you're going to want a lot of those Azeroth uh, sand thingies to change other, you know, things that you get from the Raiden boss battle into these, because unless you're hoarding these like I am, you're not going to have enough to cover Nilo right off the gate. <laughs> so you have time, but I would definitely say if you do plan on triple crowning her, which I'm sure there are people out there, you're going to want to make sure that you have 18 of these. And then, of course, the final piece of the puzzle, Crown of Insight, you're going to want three crown of insight so if you've been saving you definitely have some right there now let's go ahead and talk about some other things that you'll need for this if you are going to you know let's say triple crown nilo you're gonna want about 7.1 million mora to cover everything that includes ascensions your level 10 uh talents and so on to level up not only that, but for your level ups, you're going to want as much as 421 of the purple level up books. So that's a lot of grinding for people in two days. So as I say, always be farming right, right when the new like update comes out. Be like, all right, I'm going to farm for the next character that I want. So always do your research. I only do this because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> that's really the best way I could put it. I could only do these right before the release because, you know, Hoyoverse has got me by the balls. So, but that's going to be it today, guys. Honestly, this is going to be, you know, a pretty fun grind. Big shout out, by the way, to my, you know, main mod, Mika. She actually took the time to farm this while I was at TwitchCon. And as you can see, I'm wearing one of the shirts I got at TwitchCon from the G-Subs booth because I got to meet Kaho. So I'm a very, very happy boy. But... That's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Guys, thank you so much. We finally hit 500 subs and we got our community tab. So I will be posting community posts to you all. That's it. You all right there to make sure that you guys have a voice when it comes to the future content. But that's going to be it. Love you guys to death. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Take care and be safe.